what the internet companies and what the web-based companies and the tech companies really needed is some measures in addressing the issue of penalizing the high human capital investments that people hold in that industry. In other words, skilled workers, the ability of those workers to earn without having to pay 52%, 50% uh, upper marginal tax rates. That hasn't been removed, that hasn't been dealt with in any way, shape or form. Um, beyond that, there isn't really anything there in the budget that would be directly stimulative of the startups in the tech sector itself. We expected the budget to start dealing, or continue rather, dealing with the issues of strategic change in the economy. How do we deal with the issues of the human capital in this economy? How do we deal with the issues of the entrepreneurship in this economy? And it hasn't done that, despite the fact that there was a lot of noise and expectation that it will be addressing that. That's not a positive, really, surprise. On a positive surprise, I don't know, possibly the USC changes, which will add some disposable income at certain distributions of income itself and to a certain demographic. But unfortunately, it's not going to be the income which will be invested in this economy. So in effect, we have a budget which is based on creating, if you want, a bit of a tax relief on foot of borrowing money in the markets, which is not going to shift that tax relief into the investment, but rather go into the primary consumption. So we're stimulating consumption by taking a credit card on the future. It's not exactly a positive thing. The core issues are things like, for example, how do we incentivize people to reinvest the capital proceeds of their sale of business back into the economy? We are not addressing that. We, this type of issue is solved in the UK, and we can't even copy what has been done in the UK in that area. Incentivizes share ownership uh, for the employees and for key advisors in the startups. Nothing done there again. Again, done in the UK, very easy to copy from the UK. The issue of equalizing the tax burdens across, for example, capital gains tax in Ireland relative to the UK. Again, we made a little step there, which is somewhat positive, but not big enough, again, to reach really any sort of parity with what is happening in the UK.